Hey everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be playing with some patchwork mindfulness activities um, focused on doodling and inspired by the amazing Megan Wisner Quinlan, who you will find in my description box below. So I'm just starting out my Dina Wakeley journal in my um, black journal and it's a combination of the cotton rag paper and the craft paper. Um, <clears throat> For those people who followed this channel for a the while, they kn you know I like doing double spreads. I don't know why, it's just me. If I can do one page, I can do two pages. So, it, you know, it takes just as long. Um, and it's just something I enjoy doing. So this is inspired by a piece by Megan, as I said in the intro, um, which I saw on Instagram. And I'll um, put a um, connection to her Instagram page below. And she also now has a new YouTube channel as well. But I just really loved the simplicity of this and this page was created sort of at the end of the year it was really really busy I wanted to create but I didn't have much time but I wanted to do something that I didn't need to think about much and this page sort of just ticked all the boxes because all I needed to do was just get a few different colors of paint and just paint out squares Now, like I usually do when I'm doing things like this I tend to paint three lots of squares three um, pieces of this on my page and I'm kind of using my paintbrush to sort of dictate the width and the, the size of the, the boxes. Um, so on this page I have used a combination of these are Dina Wakeley paints obviously you can use any colors but the colors I'm using from Dina. Um, so I've got blushing, mineral, um, copper, turquoise, fuchsia, night and marine which is sort of that petroly blue color as well and I've just put them out so they kind of all work together the colors um, it wasn't particularly a color palette well it's my favorite colors that's why I chose them um, but it wasn't sort of any particular color palette you could do this as a rainbow background it really doesn't matter in how you're doing it it's just painting out squares of color if you didn't want to paint out squares of color you could do this actually just cutting up bits of scrapbook paper and doing the same sort of thing so once I would painted out my background um, one of the things that Megan um, I love Megan's work with is um, her doodling and her mic making now she is really really good at just sort of drawing mics onto her page I struggle with that a little bit um, but I like making mics with my paintbrushes so you can see here that I am just painting on some really, really simple shapes into my different areas. And what I'm trying to do, again, kind of that mindfulness thing, but to make it easy for myself is I'm trying to paint um, the same colors in three areas. So, you know, I've got the turquoise on top of the fuchsia piece of paint. I've got the white on top of the night piece of paint or the blue piece of paint. Um, they're not necessarily all the same shapes, but I'm just using up the same color on those bits. Uh, for my turquoise, I'm painting on some leaves. Now, um, again, this is something, sort of a motif that Megan uses, and I use a lot in my artwork too. Um, for those people who follow me, know one of my favorite stencils is my leafy stencil that looks like this. One of my favorite stamps is a stamp that looks very similar to that, so it's just a shape that I really really love to have my work it sort of just makes everything look a little bit organic I was really having fun thinking of some different shapes to to do on here usually when I do mic making I have to say I um, tend to do sort of dots and dashes and crosses so actually painting out solid shapes was something unusual for me and the reason for that again sort of is from that inspiration but um, it gives you a room by having that solid shape underneath it gives you room to do some more pen work on top so because I had extra paint out I usually try and put a little bit of paint out but obviously I'd squeeze a little bit hard with this I decided I'd actually put some stenciling over so on that really light piece which is um, mineral paint it's actually a light blue color I actually decided to stencil over and I really loved how that filled it up so if you're you know uh, unsure about mark making get your stencils out and just stencil over those little areas of um, 
um, patches of paint as well. So, you know, you can use anything as inspiration and you, you don't have to paint something different each area. You can see on the copper, I'm still doing those lines. Uh, I haven't changed the color because I still got paint out. And again, when my decision making comes to what I'm doing, it actually just, you know, tends to revolve around how much paint do I have out and I'll just use that up and you can see here <laughs> still had some paint out so I got my junk journal out and I decided to follow on with this pattern making um, and paint into my book and I actually really love this page of my junk journal I haven't done anything with it as yet but um, I was actually looking at it last night and had an idea so it might be today's job when you're sort of doing things like this especially with a really brightly colored background Blacks and whites are always a really, if you're not sure what colors to use, black and white is always a really good option to use. Um, it's just, you know, those neutrals that will fill in the space. For this one, this is tonight by Marlene Stencil, and I really love this doodly pattern. And again, if you have a look at Megan's artwork, you'll see that she actually draws this pattern a lot by hand. Um, but um, I had the stencil, so I thought I'd use the stencil. When I got down here and actually got this stencil out, I noticed that the little bulb shape on this was kind of the same shape as that turquoise on here. And I thought, oh, that'd be kind, kind of cool using the same, or using a pattern over the top of it. So I thought that I would break that out and use it as well. So again, just use what you've got. You're same with the star and um, moon, or crescent moon. It fitted in there, so I decided I would draw over the top. So this is where... Once I sort of had this base work down, then I can go in with my pen. So um, for most of my pen work, I tend to use a Posca paint pen. I find that I always use the bullet tip pens. Um, the fine bullet tip pen gives you a beautiful fine line and it draws over everything. Um, I had a question about this today. Someone was going, oh, I've got this pen that's not working and it was a pin tip pen, which um, has it's the one with the metal tip and every metal tip pen I have ever had working in mixed media has died. It just, it, um, the paint scrapes up into the metal barrel and it just clogs the pen. So if you can go for a bullet tip or um, if you prefer using gel pen, I know some people would much rather use gel pens, um, use one with a roller ball that will just roll over the top of the surface and you'll find it a lot easier. So now all I'm doing is just having fun. I sort of broken the back of what do I do now I was just having fun at the top because I had the patterns there and I'm just drawing over them I'm not being very careful with what I'm doing you can see the lines and those little scallopy things are really really interesting um, but it just adds a little bit of extra detail and same on those little um, semicircles by just adding the white over it it just makes it look so much more interesting same with that little piece um, that I'm drawing a little border around now and I actually find that I have to stop myself from adding an extra pen work because I keep looking at things going, oh, I could still add this and I could still that add that. So the little saying that I've put on here, um, again, Megan had a little blank space on her um, page to write a saying. And um, it was... I think she had written on her page, I will be okay. And that just really resonated with me because I just needed to tell myself it was all going to be okay. And um, as I was doing this, I needed to tell myself a few other things. And this is why I art journal. Um, the mindfulness of just doing, making my hand do something, um, emptying my mind so I don't think about things that are, but well, I obviously am thinking about them because they bubble up to the surface, but it gives my brain a chance to turn off from all the noise of the day just to actually concentrate on what's bothering me. And sometimes what comes to the surface is a bit of a surprise, like, oh, okay. Um, and when I was doing this page, you know, there's been a lot happening at the end of, end of the school year and um, uh, with a whole host of things you know how busy the end of the year gets and you know 2020 and hopefully 2021 will be much better but we'll see um yeah I, I wrote down that message I will be okay and I need to continue and um, have an affirmation you know I can do this and I think in the end I end up writing about I am strong um so 
it's okay to write things like this in your journal because it's about you. It's what you need to hear. It's what you need to see. Um, you know, it's all good. I've actually, <laughs> with this piece, and it's something I, I quite often do, I take photos of all my finished pieces as well. So if you're new to this channel and you don't follow me on Instagram, um, Instagram's a great place to actually see um, or the pages that will be coming up on this channel in the future. So if you ever want a sneak peek of what will be coming up on this channel, go and check out my Instagram page. Um, but with those photos, um, I also add them to other bits of artwork. And for my laptop cover this year, I have actually, um, I went to Snapfish because they've changed, you can print on all sorts of different things and added this photo to um, a laptop cover. Um, which I have got for my school computer this year, which I like that I have got this message going in with me every day um, to cheer me up to see the patterns so I can remember that, you know, I've got this, this is good. Uh, so yes, think about once you've done your artwork, how you can use it, how you can display it so that you can enjoy it and you can get the most out of it. I hope that you have a go at doing this. Please, again, um, check out Megan in the description box below and um, her... Instagram feed is amazing. My links to my socials are in the are in the description box as well, so you can go and follow me there. Until next time, bye for now.